Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to five theories about the universe that will blow your mind. I assume this is like theories of like living in different dimensions and all this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know much about this kind of stuff, but I feel like what is the word? I can't even think of the word. I mean, we're gonna learn, but I guess it's like different sort of worlds that you live in. It's like I can live in another dimension where oxygen is poisonous and carbon dioxide is what we breathe in. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but stuff like that where it's different in certain ways but it's still the same. I don't, I don't know. But I assume this is the sort of thing this will be going into. So I mean we're going to just, just check it out really. I don't really know what to expect. But yeah if you want more of these reactions just suggest them in the comments. Links are in the description to my Instagram and my Twitter because I'm going away and I don't know if you're interested in seeing what I get to get up to in London because I'll be posting a few things here and there. Same for my Patreon links are there for those who want to see extra reactions that get blocked. And I mean yeah we're just going to jump into this man got blood taste in my mouth. I ate cereal earlier. Cookie crisp. Cookie crisp cereal. And now my whole mouth is just so sore and like I cut it open. Why? How could a cereal make your mouth bleed? Like I bled earlier. I thought it was my throat and I was scared. I thought I was going to die. Then I realised it was a cut in my mouth. And now my mouth's been sore all day and I'm tasting blood 24-7. 24-7. I'm just constant ta constantly tasting blood on the top of my mouth. It's grim. Sorry for that information. <laughs> Advancements in quantum mechanical theories and new technologies that allow us to better perceive our universe and understand the answers to questions we never believed possible to answer seem to be developing every single day as research scientists work to provide us with new insights and revelations to our universe that break the boundaries of what we ever thought was possible. These findings will often spawn new theories and enlightenments that will cause even the most stoic of people the need to sit back and collect their thoughts in order to come to terms with theories that are so mind-blowing they are often groundbreaking in their own right. So today, we will be visiting five theories about our very own universe that will... So it's about our universe, not about alternate universes. I get it. Absolutely get it. blow your mind. Still be an interesting video though. We exist inside a black hole. The Big Bang has been a scientific discovery that has led countless physicists and research scientists scratching their heads since its first appearance. When scientists pointed their sensitive measuring devices towards the sky and picked up on the large quantities of background radiation of the universe that helped to paint an enlightening picture as to the original moments in time that our universe began, more questions began popping into their heads than could be answered. The most significant question seemed to be the most recursive. If the Big Bang created the universe, then what created the Big Bang? This was a question that would go unanswered for many decades, and many others attempting to abandon the thought altogether. It's true, like, where did the Bing, Big Bang come from? Not the Bing Bang. <laughs> the Bing Bang. The Big Bang come from? What caused that? Because this, this is all here because of the Big Bang. That's the theory. Well, that's what, obviously, people think. A lot of people think. But, um... What initially caused the Big Bang? Like, I just don't get, bro. Whenever I get to space videos, man, I just want to cry because I can never... You're not going to figure this stuff out. I mean, we're truly never going to find out these details, but... The mind can wonder, and my mind does wonder. My mind plays games with me and tricks me because I'm just trying to find out... I just, I just wish, I don't know, I just wish we could know the stuff when I know truly it will never be able to be figured out. But. How can we see what happened before anything ever even happened? This thought would soon change after mathematicians would make a strange comparison between the Big Bang and an unlikely celestial body that was still regarded as nothing more than theory. Black holes. Now, the theory behind black holes was more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognisable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realise that space and time are interwoven and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. Interestingly enough, the mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an innovative idea relative to the limits of this distortion. It was in the math that scientists believed that if the mass of an object grew to a certain size, 
This would cause the fabric of space-time to stretch and the mass, although finite, to be compressed into a zero-dimensional point with no volume, creating a singularity or, as we commonly refer to as, a black hole with a gravitational force so great that light itself could not escape it. Of course, initially, many scientists believed that an infinite density was impossible and that such an occurrence in the math was an obvious flaw that worked to prove the illegitimacy of general relativity this is and true. black holes could out. not possibly exist. Of course, this would come to change in time as better technology has allowed us to observe the effects of gravitational dis- <laughs> This is tripping me out, man. I can imagine watching this specific motion when high would, would kill your mind. <laughs> and the large supermassive black hole located at the center of our galaxy. But an interesting comparison was made between the nature of black holes and the nature of the Big Bang in the meantime. It became obvious to quantum physicists that the math completely added up, that the Big Bang appeared to be the inverse perspective of the black hole, what? leading many physicists to believe that the creation of our universe very well could have been the creation of a black hole, this and that strong existence theory. and the stretching of space-time as we know, in reference to the expansion of our universe, could merely be us existing inside of a singularity. Could it be possible then that we are merely a product of an outside aging universe and that the original Imagine that was the case. Just imagine that was the case. Imagine we just a small little with this tiny little when I say tiny little black hole, we're just this black hole. This whole thing that we're in, the whole space whatever we're in is this black hole. And then this black hole is just a tiny thing in the actual reality of what space is. And then that's a, that's just a black hole of what the reality of that space is. And it just goes on and on. But bro, it's crazy, man. All the theories, I love hearing them because majority of them probably aren't true. But it just, and again, it just allows your mind to wonder because we're not going to find this stuff out truly. I don't think we will. I just don't think there's any possibilities that we're ever going to truly get to the bottom of what this all is. The creation of our universe right. was from this event. Further evidence is provided when plotting out the fourth dimensional graphing of the timeline of our universe that shows a growing expanse from a singularity stretching out similar to an infinite density could stretch the... F well, black holes do get bigger, don't they? Like, they sort of... They just get bigger and bigger from sucking its surroundings in or whatever, or using its gravity or whatever, just bringing it in to make it bigger. So maybe that is, because obviously the universe is getting bigger, isn't fabric it? Fabric of space-time leading many more scientists to find this theory to be a legitimate answer to the question of the Big Bang. An infinite loop. This is tripping me out, man. The world of infinites in mathematics have led to a tremendous amount of insights when discussing aspects of conceptual math. None more so than the advancements made by George Cantor and fellow great mathematicians. This had however, led to many complications in the world of real-world applications relative to the concept of infinites. A sphere, in this regard, could be considered an object with infinite points on its surface, and when the math is worked out correctly, one could, in perfect mathematical theory, create two perfect spheres with the same mass, size and density of the original sphere. This is referred to as the Banach-Tarsi paradox, and though many scientists had initially regarded the concepts of this application as impossible in the real world, the math was right. It was not until many decades later that numerous researchers had begun noticing strange theories coming to light. The CERN Institute, during its testing of particle collisions and subatomic particles breaking down, began noticing a creation of more particles than initially started with. In fact, a paper had recently been published believing that not only was the banach tarski paradox applicable in the real world, but that many of the calculation errors and research at CERN helped to prove that this phenomenon was already naturally occurring. If this research is correct, it could mean that the traditionally held theories of the laws of conservation of energy could be entirely incorrect, and that new particles could be cloned from existing particles naturally. This, alongside the existing mind-blowing theory that we exist inside a black hole, could very well mean that every time a new black hole is created, a universe in perfect copy of our own could be created as well. Don't do this to my this head, man. This could very well mean that we are stuck in what appears to be an infinite loop, as the universe forms and dies, 
countless times and falls into a black hole and restarts all over again. Of course, since the very laws of the universe are unchanging, this would mean that all of the factors relative to creation would stay the same and ultimately create a universe that would play out exactly as our own. Which is, I guess, that feeds into the alternate universes kind of thing. Could it be that you have seen this very video over a trillion times already? Regarding new theories, it could very well be possible. That's the first time I've ever really heard an explanation to alternate universes or alternate whatever. It's like, I've never, I've just heard about them. I've never heard, like, heard an explanation behind them and why like, they could actually be a thing. Now I hear that and I'm like, bro, this shit's real, man. This shit's real. <laughs> Multiverse theory. One startling revelation made by quantum physicists that has converted even the most optimistic individuals into nihilists is the concept of the multiverse theory. When pondering the mathematical implications and probability of a universe forming, as well as other theories in regard to dimensional mathematics, physicists began positing a thought experiment forward. Why did our universe form with these specific rules? With these specific numbers and laws of mathematics, Scientists believe that the odds of this occurring are so astronomical that mm. it is far from probable that every variation of every possible universe exists to allow such occurrences. What is even more interesting is that researchers believe they have evidence of the multiverse theory occurring in the natural world given the complete probabilistic determination of quantum mechanics and its properties such as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the formation of virtual particles. This could very well mean that every possible variation of every universe and every decision ever made could more than exist and could potentially one day be explored. Don't do this to me, man. Philosophically, this idea Don't could lead to, to newer me. outlooks of nihilism and absurdism that may lead people to discuss the meaningful implications of decisions if every possible decision exists infinitely throughout the multiverse, making nothing unique, meaningful or even significant in any possible way. Jesus Christ. Last Thursdayism. Continuing huh? this idea in regards to a thought experiment put forth originally as a joke, but now proven to be a legitimate point of debate, Last Thursdayism explores further the absurdist crisis in regards to the multiverse theory and its mathematics. It states that everything that currently exists in the universe and that the universe itself was merely created last Thursday. One could attempt to argue that there is inherent proof of time existing before this point, and that the universe has indeed been around a lot longer than that, but any evidence provided is not objective. It could have just been one of those things that's just been going on forever. It's just, I don't know what, thinking about it makes my head trip, man. I literally just got dizzy there thinking about it. Bro, this is not for me, man. Like this, this could, this everything just could have been there, and then this creation of Earth just was, was that the Earth sort of just sort of coming into existence because this sort of stuff happens constantly, doesn't it? But I mean, I guess they can sort of tell how old the stars are and stuff, can't they? So they can judge how old the the universe is. But at the same time, maybe there was something before stars were formed. Like there was another sort of time frame of the universe living a different sort of age or whatever. I don't know. Because they don't like predict in like billions of years or trillions of years or whatever that it will just be like a black hole universe where everything's just a black hole and it will change to something else and it will just constantly change and change. Bro, it tri <laughs> tripped me out, man. This world is mental. I just want answers, man. I hope when my time comes, I said this in the video yesterday. I hope, my, well, I said yesterday, it was probably a few days ago from when you're watching this. I hope we just get the answers, man. When I pass, I hope I get the answers to everything, man. Please just give me the answers. I don't want to live life as an ant or as a pigeon. I want the answers, man. Proof and is rather subjective interpretation. Actually, being a pigeon would be quite cool. Flying about. Actually, nah. Being a pigeon. I'll take that back. If I'm a pigeon, that's all right. Don't make me an ant, though. In my next life, do not make me an ant. If you have a video <laughs> recording of a time before last Thursday, one could argue that the device, the data, and everything merely popped into existence to give the illusion of the universe having been around much longer than it actually has. Wait, what? This could be a counter-argument for any point raised against the philosophies of last Thursdayism, which could include video evidence, sensitive measuring equipment, 
natural phenomenon, occurring actions, and even your own memories. What is all the more mind-blowing about this theory is that it mathematically works. Given the concepts provided in the multiverse theory of every universe of every possible variation popping into existence, it could very well be the case that our instance of space and time was merely created last Thursday, and any other evidence to argue against the fact could merely have been popped into existence as well. This concept ultimately that argues that only the here and now is real, and that only you could ever know that you exist. This ultimately begs the question, is anything we have ever experienced actually real, or the product of a universe that just popped into existence? This is quite a dangerous way to think, because I feel like some people would actually sort of live their life sort of thinking this is true, and that's obviously not a good way to live. Because then it sort of goes into the all, like, this is just a simulation kind of stuff. But it's still interesting to learn about, like, because you just don't know. Did I just say that? He's, he's saying things that happened last Thursday is actually real, or whatever he's saying. Is, is me recording this, <laughs> this reaction real? It is. It, I'm probably recording myself having a mental breakdown, but, you know, we'll just pursue, pursue. Pursue the... Oh, fuck. <laughs> is that real? Can I speak? Is that real? Probably not. <laughs> last Thursday. God, this is tripping me out, man. I really, really is. Given the mind-blowing theories, we are quite certain that your mind is teeming with questions mm. when it comes to the nature of ourselves and our universe. Be sure to share your answers and questions below in the comment section and let us know what comments. is racing through your mind. Bro, the more we learn, the less we know. The Big Bang Theory is like some someone turning the, on the light in a dark room but with no one there to press the switch. Boss calls me in the morning, why didn't you show up to work? Bro, chill. You don't even... <laughs> <laughs> you don't even exist doesn't matter which universe you live in there's a tax man coming for you I find scientific things much more convincing when they're narrated, when narrated by a British accent as if I wasn't having enough of an ex existential crisis bro I literally just recorded myself having a crisis man I just need the answers to everything bro I just I can't when it comes to, and I'm seeing this pop up have I I think I may have seen this one but there's another video from this channel that i have been suggested constantly. I have seen this one. What is it called? Because I actually want to react to it soon. Life Beyond this one? Maybe, I think it's probably this one. I might react to this now. Just to keep my mind just flowing with this absolute insanity, man. Because I love these videos so much, bro. I literally sort of, I just got dizzy thinking about this for a second. I was like, I was really deeply thinking. I was like, wait, what? what is actually going on but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this but well, this isn't even a video hopefully you enjoyed this reaction more of this stuff on the way man because again no video hits me like these space reactions man it's just that it's just an experience and a half i think i deep this stuff a lot more than a lot of people will and i'm probably annoying a lot of people but that's just how i am man i just wish the answers were there but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this reaction if you want more of this stuff suggest it in the comments and i'll be sure to do so in the future but yeah until next time like subscribe peace